Hello everyone, welcome to .NET Training Academy. In this video, we are going to learn how to install and up and running with C++. Before getting into the video, if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. And if you want to support us, please support by sharing our channel to your friends and colleagues. We first need to decide which one is suitable for us. You can use, you can develop things in online or in your particular machine itself. If you don't want to install any softwares or tools, you just wanted to learn C++, you can directly go ahead with the online uh, websites like uh, cpp.sh as well as the jdoodle, paisa.io. There are a lot of websites. And these are the popular websites uh, which are available for you to code. It's very simple and the link is available in the description below. You can go ahead and make use of it. And if you're having a highly configured machine or laptop, you can use the two great IDEs, like uh, if you are using a Mac, you can go ahead with the Xcode. If you are in Windows with highly configured machine, you can go ahead with the Visual Studio. And if you are having the normal uh, PC or laptop with minimum configuration, you can use Code Blocks or Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is the very popular text editor for C++ as well as many programming languages and also the frameworks so in this course we are going to stick with visual studio code throughout the series so now let's see how to install visual studio code first so go to google and type for visual studio code and then go to the very first link code.visualstudio.com and there you can see the download for mac if you are using windows it will show you something like download for windows so just click over here to download in my case it's already downloaded and installed so i'm just going to walk through screens which you might come across while installing so these are all the screens which you might come across after you downloaded that particular software you just need to double click it and the very first setup wizard and then after clicking the next you come to the select additional task and i recommend to click all the checkboxes and installing visual studio code is pretty much straightforward you can just click next 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 just like any other software installations so there is nothing hard on installing visual studio code so once you're done installing the visual studio code you need to install the tool for compiling c which is MinGW. Just go to the Google and type for MinGW and go to the MinGW.org and there you can see the downloads. But here you might get confused by having a lot of extra options over there. So it is preferable to go to the next link of SourceForge.net. So in that particular SourceForge.net, you can click the download and just save it in any of your folder. And once you complete a download and go to the download section and just click in it and hit run and then click install click in continue so it will take some time for downloading an installation process once it is done you need to click continue then it will open the MinGW installation manager and there you might need to select all the packages on MinGW so just click in it and mark for installation once you've done all the steps go to the installation and apply changes and then click apply so it will take some time so once it's in downloaded and installed you need to set up the path in your environment so for that go to control panel system and security and then click system and in the environment variables select path and then add the mingw path which is available in the C directory so then open up the command prompt and the, re the reason of setting up the path for making the mingw global so then you can use gcc command anywhere in your system uh, which means any directory in your system after doing that just open the visual studio code after opening the visual studio code go to file and open in mac open folder in windows 
and create some folder I just created C++ in 2020 folder so I'm going to open it so here in the Explorer section you can see the folder so after doing that you actually need to install the extension which is available over here in the extension section in your case this toolbar might be available in the right hand side in the left hand side so open up the extension and search for C++ and I already installed it if you didn't install you need to click install and you also need to search for C++ project generator so after installing both the extensions type the command control shift P or command shift P in Mac and then you need to type create C++ project so I'm going to click that and hit enter and you need to choose the folder and here we go so here in the main.cpp is the main file which is under the source section so to run this file all you need to do is to open up your terminal which is available in the terminal section just click G++ and main.cpp and after typing that G++ space main.cpp you will get the file called a.out which is the output file so then just click dot and slash and type a and then type tab you might get that particular file so just hit enter and here we go this is your first output in C++ and typing these commands is uh, difficult in a sense you can just go ahead and right click and run code and you can get the output just like that so that's it for this video and, the, and in the next upcoming videos we might uh, look into how the compilation process works in C++ as well as the uh, get dive into the code as soon as possible. So if you like this video please don't forget to support us by subscribing or sharing it to your friends and if you have any queries please comment it below.